Here we're going to look at question 12 from section 2 of the BMATS 2014 paper. So in this question, uh, we're, uh, we're given the following diagram. We have a station, um, and, and at a bearing of x degrees, a distance d away, there's a library. Um, and then directly east, a distance d again, uh, we have a theatre. So what we're asked to do is to find the bearing of the station from the theatre. So to try and answer this question, the first thing I'm going to do is think about what this bearing um, of the station from the theatre actually is. So I've labelled north on our theatre here because we're doing a bearing about the theatre um, because it's going to be from the theatre to the station. So we can label this with an arrow going from the theatre down to the station. And our bearing, always being measured clockwise from north, um, being this part here. So you can see as well that I've labelled this angle um, of y degrees on here. So this is probably going to be um, quite useful because now we have all of the angles around um, our point T, our theatre, labelled on properly. Um, so if we do want to try and find our bearing T, then um, we can just find 360 degrees, the total um, number of degrees around T, and we can take away this um, y degree, uh, this value of y degrees and our 90 degree angle here which is why I've got this expression for 360 take away our 90 plus y from so what this means is to try and find our bearing all we actually have to find is this angle y so let's see if we can find um, any, ways, any ways of actually finding our angle y well we know that this distance from L to T and L to S is exactly the same which is why I've labelled it with two dashes here so what that means um, is that this angle is going to be y as well, because the triangle is symmetrical around this midpoint. So if we know these two angles are going to be y, then we can find out this angle in here, since there are 180 degrees in a triangle. So what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be 180 degrees, take away our two angles of y degrees. Um, right, okay, so we've, run a, uh, we've managed to do a little bit here, but... Um, it might now seem like we're in a bit of a we're stuck a little bit, and uh, we're not really sure how much how what we can do next. So let's just try drawing on some triangles and seeing if they do anything. For example, we could draw a line from L straight across west here, um, to make a right angle triangle. At which point this um angle here is just going to be um ninety minus x. Uh, just because we've got one hundred eighty degrees in this triangle, ninety here, and x here, so this has to be ninety minus x. Now with this, uh, we can see that about L, we have an expression for x, uh, we have an angle for x, sorry, and we have an angle for y. So what we could do um, is look around this point L and possibly try and get our angle y in terms of x, which would be great because then we can get an answer in terms of x um, for our bearing. So looking around L, we can use exactly the same fact as we did around T, that all of the angles add up to 360 degrees together. Um, so we can have our 90 degrees um, up here in our diagram, plus our 90 minus x angle, plus our 180 minus 2y angle, plus our extra 90 degrees. Um, and that's all together going to equal 360 degrees. So if we collect together all the terms on the left hand side, then this is going to become uh, the, nice, uh, the simpler expression, 450 minus x minus 2y equals 360 degrees. Um, now of course we can simplify this a little bit further, by um, taking the 360 away from 450 and moving y onto the other side, uh, since we want to find an expression for y substitute into our bearing. So all we have to do next is just divide by 2, um, giving us 45 minus x over 2, uh, where the 45 is just the 90 divided by 2. So with this expression, uh, we can substitute this into our expression for the bearing. Um, and if we do that, then we get our bearing as being 260 degrees, take away our 90 degrees plus um, our expression for y, 45 minus x over 2. So adding these two, uh, the, 40, the 90 and the 45 together, sorry, uh, this becomes 360, take away our 135, and then the minus and the minus together make a plus of x over 2. So this all together is just going to equal 225 plus x over 2, which is going to correspond with answer f given in the question. So it's worth noting that with these bearing questions, there are generally um, a few ways of attacking them. But the best thing to do is just to try and label on as much as you can and try and find um, 
the essential thing that you need in terms of the things you're given. So whichever way you go about it, um, it shouldn't really make a difference as long as you label things um, accurately.